Hi everyone welcome to back the channel Auto Rush the 2025 Kamov Ka 50 in the world of rotorcraft, few names spark as much intrigue and fascination as the Kamov Ka 50. Nicknamed the, Black Shark, this Russian attack helicopter has always carried an aura of futuristic menace, high-tech prowess, and battlefield lethality. And now, in 2025, the Ka 50 has returned, not as a relic of the Cold War, but as a rejuvenated force ready to dominate the skies once again. First introduced in the 1980s and officially entering service in the mid-1990s, the original Ka-50 was already a marvel of design. It was the only operational attack helicopter with a single pilot, thanks to its advanced avionics and integrated targeting systems. But what truly set it apart was its coaxial rotor system, a cam-off signature, featuring two counter-rotating rotors that eliminated the need for a tail rotor. This not only gave the Ka-50 superior agility, but it also made it more compact and resistant to tail rotor strikes, making it ideal for tight combat situations. Fast forward to 2025, and the latest iteration of the Ka-50 builds upon this legendary foundation, merging decades of battlefield data, technological advancement, and tactical insight. Russia's defense industry, spearheaded by Russian helicopters under Rostec, has reimagined the Ka-50 as a next-generation combat platform. The aircraft maintains its distinctive silhouette, sleek, angular, and unmistakably predatory, but now every line and curve is refined for modern warfare. Let's start with the airframe. The 2025 Ka-50 features lightweight composite materials to reduce weight and increase durability. These materials are not only resilient to small arms fire but also to radar detection, giving the helicopter a semi-stealth profile. Engineers have integrated radar absorbent coatings and minimized radar cross-section where possible, allowing the Ka-50 to approach targets with a lower chance of early detection. Beneath the outer skin, the upgrades are even more impressive. The latest Ka-50 comes equipped with a completely overhauled avionics suite. Digital fly-by-wire controls replace older mechanical systems, enhancing pilot response time and stability. A next-gen glass cockpit boasts multifunctional touchscreens, holographic displays, and AI-assisted situational awareness. The system can highlight threats, prioritize targets, and even suggest evasive maneuvers in real-time. One of the biggest innovations in the 2025 model is the integration of AI-based targeting. The Ka-50 now uses machine learning algorithms to identify and lock onto targets, predict enemy movement, and even assist in decision-making. For example, if a target tank is detected, the system can automatically calculate range, speed, wind conditions, and recommend the best munition for the kill. This drastically reduces pilot workload, which is critical given that the Ka-50 still flies with just one pilot. Powering this beast are two uprated Klimov VK2500P engines, producing over 2,700 shaft horsepower each. These engines are not only more powerful but also more fuel efficient, giving the helicopter greater operational range and better hot and high performance, an essential trait for mountainous or desert warfare. Improved engine management systems allow for smoother power delivery and increased resistance to combat damage. In terms of agility, the Ka-50 remains in a class of its own. Thanks to its coaxial rotors, it can perform high-speed turns, vertical climbs, and side-strafing maneuvers that are impossible for traditional rotorcraft. This makes it an ideal platform for hit-and-run tactics, close air support, and even dogfighting with other helicopters. Advanced autopilot systems allow the helicopter to hover with pinpoint accuracy or maintain high-speed flight through complex terrain. The weapon suite on the 2025 Ka-50 is, quite frankly, terrifying. The iconic 30mm Shapunov 2A42 autocannon returns, now with improved targeting accuracy and reduced recoil. This side-mounted cannon can pivot up and down, left and right, allowing for a wide arc of fire without needing to reposition the entire helicopter. Whether strafing infantry, disabling vehicles, or clearing fortified positions, the autocannon remains a reliable and versatile tool. The stub wings on either side carry a variety of hardpoints, capable of mounting up to 12 missiles, rockets, or bombs depending on the mission. The Ka-50 can now deploy the latest Vickr M anti-tank guided missiles, capable of piercing reactive armor at ranges exceeding 10 kilometers. In addition, the new Hermes A missile system has been integrated, offering long-range precision strike capabilities beyond line of sight. These missiles are guided by a combination of laser, radar, and satellite-assisted navigation, ensuring devastating accuracy. The 2025 Ka-50 also supports air-to-air -air missiles such as the R-74M, giving it teeth against drones and enemy helicopters. 
This added dimension of air superiority is a crucial update in modern conflicts, where UAVs and loitering munitions are increasingly prevalent. For suppression of enemy defenses, the helicopter can carry guided rocket pods with programmable fuses, enabling airburst effects over entrenched positions or hardened bunkers. The helicopter's sensors are another area of massive evolution. The updated KA-50 features a 360-degree AESA radar dome atop the rotor mast, which provides long-range detection of air and ground targets. A forward-looking infrared system FLIR coupled with a high-resolution electro-optical camera, gives the pilot a clear view of the battlefield in all lighting and weather conditions. The new sensor fusion system compiles all data streams into a single, intuitive interface, enabling faster and more accurate targeting decisions. One of the most significant enhancements to the KA-50 in 2025 is survivability. The helicopter's entire cockpit is protected by titanium armor plating and bullet-resistant glass. The pilot's seat is fitted with a new-generation energy-absorbing system, and the KA-50 remains the only attack helicopter in the world equipped with an ejection seat. This unique system uses explosive charges to jettison the rotor blades before firing the pilot safely into the sky, an innovation that still captures the imagination of aviation enthusiasts. Electronic warfare has also become a key focus. The 2025 KA-50 includes the L-418 President S self-defense system, which integrates radar warning receivers, laser warning sensors, and missile approach detectors. When a threat is detected, the system can deploy chaff, flares, and even directed infrared countermeasures DIRCM, to confuse incoming missiles. This gives the KA-50 a fighting chance against modern manpads and SAM systems, especially in contested airspace. Onboard communication and networking have also received a major overhaul. The helicopter is now fully integrated into the Russian military's digital battlefield environment, allowing real-time data sharing with drones, satellites, and ground forces. Pilots can receive live feeds from surveillance drones, issue commands to robotic ground vehicles, and even coordinate strikes with other air units through encrypted, jam-resistant channels. Interestingly, one of the key developments in 2025 is the KA-50's new drone control capabilities. The pilot can now interface with and command a pair of autonomous drone wingmen, known as the Kama of Ghosts. These small, agile UAVs can scout ahead, paint targets with laser guidance, and even carry small munitions of their own. This not only extends the KA-50's battlefield awareness but also allows it to strike without exposing itself to enemy fire. Pilots themselves are benefiting from augmented training programs using virtual and mixed reality. Before flying an actual KA-50, trainees undergo thousands of simulated combat hours using AI-generated battle scenarios, reducing the learning curve and increasing mission success rates. Additionally, health and fatigue monitors are embedded in the pilot's flight suit, alerting commanders if the operator is experiencing overload or stress. Operational doctrine for the KA-50 in 2025 has shifted significantly. Rather than being used solely as a tank killer, it now plays a broader role in joint operations. In counterinsurgency roles, it provides overwatch and precision firepower. In large-scale mechanized warfare, it functions as a forward strike unit, clearing anti-air defenses for heavier bombers and coordinating with artillery. It has also proven highly effective in anti-drone roles, using electronic jamming and kinetic intercepts to neutralize UAV swarms. So, how has the 2025 KA-50 fared in real-world scenarios? Reports suggest it has been deployed in limited numbers across several active theaters. In mountain operations and dense forests, the KA-50's agility and stealth have given it a distinct edge. Analysts believe that its compact design and rugged build allow it to operate from makeshift forward bases, even highways and clearings, greatly reducing deployment times and increasing mission tempo. There are also rumors of